Good day, students. I'm on this group. We're going to be going over an, an example of a turkey freefall problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and consider the problem. Uh, it says uh, a frozen turkey was accidentally dropped from the balcony of a loft 50 feet above the ground during a Thanksgiving party. Unfortunately, there happened to be an oblivious mice feasting on its Thanksgiving spoils directly beneath on the sidewalk. Assuming the turkey falls straight down and neglecting air resistance, how much time does the mice have to escape from the point of impact? Okay, so uh, we're looking for time in this problem. So the, the formula that we're going to be using is a kinematic equation that you might have seen before, which is basically the position S after time T equals one half of the acceleration due to gravity times time square plus the initial velocity V sub zero times T uh, plus E. Uh, or the initial position S sub zero. Okay? Alright, so you have to know, you have to know that um, in this case we're assuming that the, the turkey was just dropped from Rex and then it started to pick up speed after that. Okay? So let's uh, speak, see if we can decipher what all these variables mean and then use it to solve the equation. Since we have one equation, we may have only one unknown in order to be able to solve this equation. Alright? So uh, let's determine our variables. Um, before I get started, I want to make a sketch. So let's say this is our, our loft right here. Okay. Let's say this is our loft. Um, I'm going to put some measures in here. So our loft is 50 feet from the ground. But whenever we're doing in problems involving um, kinematic equations or free fall problems, orientation is very, very important, okay? So we have to determine what direction is positive and what direction is negative. It, um, it doesn't matter what direction it is, but whatever we pick, we must stick to it. So in this problem, I'm going to call down positive, okay? I'm going to call the downwards direction my positive direction. So if numbers are going down, they're going to be increasing. If they're going up, they're going to be decreasing, okay? So down is my positive direction. So what does that tell me? Well, you know that acceleration due to gravity, which is A, acts downwards. So in this case, it's going to be positive. Acceleration due to gravity is constant, close to the Earth worldwide. If, and is no, um, since we're working with feet, this problem is in feet, so we're going to use that unit. It's 32 feet per second square. Now, had it been that I called my orientation, um, if I called upwards positive in my orientation, then this would have been negative, okay? All right, uh, the time, which is the time it will take for the chicken, let's draw a little turkey right here, the time it will take for the turkey to hit the ground um, is what we're looking for, okay? We know that we have our little mice somewhere down here, pissing on its little Thanksgiving spot, okay? All right, and then V sub zero is the speed that it was traveling when it was released. It was released from rest, so V sub zero is basically zero. This is the initial velocity. And then uh, the position it was at, at the maximum height S sub zero, is going to be negative 50. Okay, negative 50 units from the ground. And its final position when it hits the ground S, let's call that zero. Alright? So let's see if this makes any sense. Remember, going down this positive, so when you're going down, the number gets bigger. So from negative 50 to zero, is the number getting bigger or smaller? The number is getting bigger, right? Because negative 50 is by far smaller than zero. So it makes sense that we call S zero and S sub zero negative 50. Okay? All right, so that, that goes the orientation. If we call this 50, then this would be 100, but that doesn't make any sense. So this is our ruler right here, and remember going down is positive. All right, so there goes all the variables we have. Let's include the units. V sub 0 is 0 feet per second. Uh, S sub 0 is negative 50 feet, which is the original height from the ground, and then S is 0 feet. All right? Now, before I start solving, let me just state what all these variables mean so that um, we don't get confused, all right? So A is acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. And the constant close to the Earth worldwide. Uh, v sub zero is the initial velocity. In this case, we're assuming that 
it was dropped from a rest. If it wasn't tossed downwards, or else that would change the problem. Uh, S sub zero is the initial displacement from the ground, or height. Initial displacement. And then S final, this is the final position, is the final displacement or position from the ground. Since it's going to be hitting the ground, that's why S is basically zero. All right. So the goal here is how much time does this mice have to get away from this point of impact before this uh, falling turkey impacts the spot that it's in. Remember, we're assuming that the turkey is falling straight down. All right. So we're going to plug in all these variables into our equation, and then we're going to solve it. All right. So the resulting equation is going to be um, zero equals one half. A is 32 feet per second, just put in 32, times T square, we don't know what T is, times T square plus V sub 0 is 0, 0 times T plus the initial position was negative 50, okay, because of our orientation calling down was positive, so if we're going up and down is positive, it's going to be negative, all right? So that's going to leave us with equation 0 equals 1 half times 32t squared, this multiplies out to 0, minus 50, okay? Simplify further, well, we can add 50 to both sides, right? So just add 50 to both sides, and that gives us uh, 50 equals 16t squared, all right? To get t by itself, we'll divide by 16 both sides and take the square root, all right? So divide both sides by 16, and we're going to get uh, t squared equals 50 over 16, all right? And then to finish this off, we'll take the square root, take the square root of this term, and then take the square root of, take the square root of uh, this entire expression right here, okay? All right, so we're going to have t equals plus or minus the square root of 50, over the square root of 16. You notice what I did, right? This is one of the properties of radicals. If you have the square root of a fraction, A over B, you can distribute this radical to the numerator and the denominator to become the square root of A over the square root of B. Okay? Uh, now, you're going to have T equals plus or minus the square root of 50 over the square root of 16 is simply 4. Okay? Now, let's reduce... 50 using uh, the tools of radicals, all right? We're going to reduce uh, 50. What is this? What does the square root of 50 reduce to? So the square root of 50, let's break that down. We're going to take out 2 times 25, and then 5 times 5. That's the decomposition of 50. Now, since these two 5s repeat, we can group them out, group them together, and they can break out as 1, okay? Because the square root of 5 squared is just 5. So any any um, factors that repeat itself under the square root can come out as one of the, the two factors that repeat. Okay? So 50 is basically 2 root 5. So t becomes plus or minus 2 root 5 over 4. And we can reduce further. Just divide the top and bottom by 2. If I divide the top by 2 and divide the bottom by 2, I'm going to have um, t equals plus or minus root 5 over 4. Okay? But well, we're calculating time here, and we know time has only one direction, which is in the positive direction. Time never travels backwards, okay? Or else there'll be a problem. So the only time that's useful or meaningful for us here is a positive time. t, uh, let me reduce this to now, it's supposed to be 2. As a, as a positive time, t equals the square root of 5 over 2. Okay? 5 over 2 seconds. There goes our final answer. By the way, this doesn't make much sense, right? If you look at your clock and it shows you root 5 over 2 seconds, what, what, what is that? It doesn't make much sense, right? So what we're going to do, uh, let's use a calculator to um, see what this is approximately. Find an approximate measure. This is the exact measure of how long it's going to take the... The turkey to hit the ground, how much time the mice has to get out of the way. Um, so to find the approximate measure, we just calculate the square root of 5, divided by 2, 
and you have 1.118 seconds. So it's approximately 1.118 seconds. All right, let me check it again just to make sure. 1.118, good. All right, so let's write down what this answer means. Well, the, what this answer basically means is that the mice, the mice has 1.118 seconds to get out of the point of impact. Okay, because as soon as this the clock hits 1.8, 1.8 seconds, the turkey is going to be hitting that point, that point directly beneath beneath it, which happens to be the point where the mice is. So after T falls 1.1 uh, eight seconds, the uh, turkey is going to impact the ground. Okay, so there goes the solution to our problem um, involving the free fall of the turkey. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. More videos can be found on microserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. Thanks.